Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Megan humiliated as body language expert reveals secret Harry was hiding. Dot. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tied the knot on Saturday at St George's Chapel in front of a congregation of 600 guests. It should have been the happiest day of their lives, but then a body language expert revealed the secret Harry was hiding during the ceremony. Body language expert Robin Kermode noticed one gesture, in particular, which signified that Prince Harry was not at ease when he wed American actress Meghan Markle over the weekend. The nervous groom could be seen rubbing Meghan's right hand with his thumb as they were seated during the service at St. George's Chapel on Saturday afternoon, a sign of anxiousness. The thumb rub is an interesting gesture that parents often share with children, Kermode told Daily Mail. Harry is using it to say, I'm a little nervous and I'm glad you're here with me. It's a comforting gesture from Harry to Meghan but also it gives Harry comfort to know that he is sharing this honest feeling with her. Ultimately it makes both parties feel connected. Kermode also noted that Prince Harry seemed more affected by the occasion than his bride. Perhaps that's because this is his first marriage. The same cannot be said for Meghan, who walked down the aisle once before, then divorced her first husband, a Hollywood producer, after she landed the lead role in the television drama Suits just as his career hit a rough patch. While Prince Harry's thumb rub was a dead giveaway that he was quite nervous about marrying Meghan, there were other unmistakable signs of his discomfort, as well. One of the most telling was the way he touched his face repeatedly, which is considered to be in poor taste for the aristocracy. For much of the service, Harry, moved his body very slightly forwards and backwards moving the weight from the front of his foot to the heel. He touched his face regularly, said Kermode. This was possibly accentuated by the heat and wearing a warm outfit. Several times he touched his jacket as a displacement for his understandable nerves. Traditionally the royal family, and indeed the aristocracy, never touch their faces in public. The fact that Harry touched his face as often as he did in the early part of the service shows what a huge occasion this was for him and what it meant to him on a deeply emotional level," added the body language expert. Harry has been in the spotlight his entire life, so it's not as if all the attention he received on his wedding day was what caused him such noticeable distress. You can't blame him for getting the nervous jitters as he committed to spending the rest of his life with Meghan. Their relationship has been plagued by scandal since the moment they announced their engagement. Meghan, on the other hand, appeared supremely calm, according to Kermode. Meghan was astonishingly graceful throughout the entire service and procession. Her body was still, centered, and composed at all times. Her chin was low and her eyes alert and completely relaxed. Nothing about this occasion seemed to faze her at all, he said. Meghan didn't touch her face once. Nor did she check that her dress was sitting right. She was supremely calm. It's no surprise that Meghan appeared calm, cool and collected on her wedding day. After all, it wasn't her first rodeo. Plus, she's an actress. She knows exactly how to trick the public into thinking one thing when the reality is much, much different. Not only this, but she loves the spotlight. She craves attention, it doesn't make her nervous, it makes her thrive. Poor Prince Harry was a nervous wreck on Saturday, yet his blushing bride didn't seem to have a care in the world. I guess she's already gotten comfortable in her new role. She'll never want for anything ever again, nor will she ever have to work another day in her life. She's got it made, and apparently, she knows it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.